everybody, I'm back with another uh, retro unboxing, I suppose. And this is another doll from the Princess Dolls of the World, uh, Barbie Collectibles. This is a, um, it's a collector's edition, and this is the Princess of Ireland. So her box is also a little bit uh, damaged from being in storage. Um, it's not as bad as the last one was, but, um, I, and I forgot to mention before, uh, before we open her up, um, check out the background. It's got, uh, I don't know exactly what's supposed to be, but it looks like a, an old ruin of a castle in the back, which is suiting considering she's a princess. So, uh, she's in a green box. It's got some kind of Celtic, um, borderline on it. Uh, it's good for, uh, ages three and up. And on the back here, it says, we're going to go ahead and read what it says in the back. We ha It says, Princess of Ireland Barbie doll. And it says, many years ago on a misty island of European, oh, of the European continent, a noble race of people known as the Celts inhabited the land. Their custom, their customs were, di di bleh. their customs were diverse since they came from different tribes, and their properties were divided into many kingdoms. In one such kingdom called Ireland, a beautiful princess stands gazing into the lush rolling green hills that surround her. The sun flickers through her, through a strand of her hair that brushes against her eye, and for a second she thinks that she sees a woodland sprite frolicking in a meadow near the woods. Many Celtic people believe that the fairies and angels lived in the surrounding forests. In the center of the meadow is an ancient stone circle. Stone circles were thought to have been constructed by the ancient tribes for religious ceremonies. Although the princess would like to visit the stone circle, she must now return to the castle where the festival is about to take place. Special stories will be recited in Gaelic, one of Ireland's ancient languages that is still used today, by the royal bards who were the singing poets of the ancient Celtic times. But the highlight of the evening will be when the princess is presented with the magnificent tiara brooch, a famous be bejeweled pin thought to have been worn by the Celtic royalty in honor of her coming of age. Today, the wonder and glory of the Celtic people still reign over the art, jewelry, and folklore of Ireland. Celtic weapons, armor, and manuscripts reveal an incredibly artistic and accomplished culture. Modern day shops are brimming, are brimming with exquisite Celtic artistry and mesmerizing tales of the old world. Princess of Ireland Barbie doll majestically reflects the rich green culture of her isle country draped in her shimmering green gown that features a regal pattern Inspired by, Celt by ancient Celtic colors and designs. At her waist, she wears, the, she wears a half belt with three medallions imprinted with the Celtic-inspired arts. Her gorgeous flowing red hair serves as a perfect backdrop for her lush green velvety cloak that is adorned with the with a golden brooch remnants of the beautiful tiara brooch a golden crown on her head makes her perfect makes her the perfect young monarch in the waiting so there's also um, it also shows two other uh, princess dolls on the back here uh, one princess of the nile we already reviewed um, i can go ahead and link that in the description and then the princess of china which we haven't reviewed yet um i don't know if you guys have taken a look there's some really cool artwork on the back here of some of the artifacts from the celtic times and then the rolling hills with the uh, circle of stones so it's pretty cool that it has like this whole big description on the back here um dolls cannot stand alone da, da, da. okay 
So whoops. So let's go ahead and open her up and then we'll see what she looks like outside of her box. Um, I can tell you right now she's already completely gorgeous. Okay, so I got her out of her box. I'm not going to go into her details yet. I'm going to get some stuff out still. Uh, we have to grab out her stand. Whoops, we got to grab out her stand so she doesn't fall over like that. And I think it's a black stand that comes with this one. And the um, elastics that are on it are already disintegrated and stuck. That's why sometimes it is better to unbox them. I know some collectors, and I was one of them, I was guilty of it, feel that the value of something is better when um, it's left in box. Now, for me right now, yeah, the value of it was because I get to unbox it and have everything Palestine, but um, sometimes if you leave them in the box too long, the box will start to disintegrate and um, you'll get some color rub off on the costume and stuff like that. And, you know, elastic disintegration and all that other stuff. But um, so it looks like we have a clear top and then we have the black bottom. I think that our other one had a um, had a white bottom, but you can see that they have the little um, anti-slide things on them, so you can put it on like a slippery surface and it won't fall around, it won't slide all over. And we have our shoes in here, we're going to grab the shoes out. So our shoes are just these emerald green flats. No high heels, that's good. I mean, it's neutral. And see that there's there's these pointy green flats. So we're gonna go ahead and get these on, and then we'll we'll talk about our girl. Okay, guys, she is an absolute stunner. Let's start with her face here, if I can get that to focus. Uh, she has the very red auburn signature hair that you'd see on um, an, an like a, a stereotypical Irish girl. She has a very metallic gold crown, and that's got some beautiful detail work in it. It's not. There's no paint detail in it, but it's metallic, and that's awesome. Um, her eyes are gorgeous. She's got these really nice emerald green eyes and a really, really light whitish blue colored eyeshadow um, with a little bit of pink eyeshadow above it. Uh, she has matching eyebrows that match her hair and a really dark red lipstick, and then her lips are really full. I really like this face sculpt as well. I think she's gorgeous. Um, moving down, we have the re a really, really thick... Cape. I don't know what type of material this is made out of. I don't know if this is actual velvet or if this is like a polyester, but it's super, super thick and it's and the seams are very nice. You can see that it's rolled up. You can actually take this and, and drape it over her, the front of her, but it's meant to be in the back. It's kind of like a royal looking. I'll show you the back of it. It's like a royal looking cloak or cape or cloak or um, is that what you call it? Cloak? Hmm. And then let's get a close-up of this brooch here, so I can get that to work here. Uh, there we go. It is also that metallic -y gold that you, that matches the crown. I don't know if you guys can see the detail work on that brooch, but it has a couple of pieces. Um, it has this round piece right here with the crest in it, and then it has this um, like key-looking needle that goes through it that has another type of... Um, symbolic symbol on the top of that and it just kind of goes through so and it's threaded to keep it there so um yeah when you when have you seen that in mattel in a long time but uh, we won't get into that the dress is made of several different materials um i think um mm, i don't know where to start here um i don't know what kind of fabric this is but it's a different type of fabric than the, it's it's like that hmm how do i how do i, do I describe this fabric it's like the fabric What kind of fabric is this? It's not silk, but it's it's got a silk appearance to it, and it's really thick. It's super thick, guys, um, and it's got all the right seams. It's it's an olive colored green. It kind of really goes good with the forest green of the of the cloak. And then this whole piece right here is a, a, its own piece, and it's sewn in. Um, this is all printing, I believe. No, it's not all printing. Oh my goodness! All right, so. It's, um, so we have paint work from here to here, but if you look really, really closely, I think that there is some embroidery. 
Yes. Or is that just the way the paint is? I don't even know, guys. If it's paint, it's 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 like a 3D paint, and it looks really embroidered. If you guys can see that, uh, we got some uh, some kind of so we got some rustic red in there, and a little bit of pink, and we got some green, and we got a lot of metallic gold, and then you have her belt here that she's wearing. It's this half belt, I think. Yeah, it only goes the the um the plastic part only goes to here, and then it has a uh you know go figure. It has a fabric finishing that goes into the back. So it is attached to the dress, so it's part of the dress. But, um... Oh, oh, wait! I forgot to tell you, too. The dress on the back, it's fastened. It's fastened with a, a, one of those snaps. The snaps that Barbie used to have on them back in the day. Yeah, before they just went all elastic and stuff. So, um, yeah. So her dress goes all the way down to her ankles, and of course we already looked at her shoes. She doesn't have anything underneath as, like, like for, like, um, undergarments or anything. So no underwear or bra or, or a petticoat or anything like that underneath. But she doesn't need it because that dress, the thickness of the fabric and the, the way the seams are, um, the seams are all done, it just, it just flows right. So as for articulation, just like, um, our, um, our Nile princess, uh, she, her heads go ups and down and back and side, forth and side to side. Um, she also has arms, they don't bend at the elbow. Or the wrists, they just go up and down and then to the side. Um, her legs, um, they you can make her sit or stand. And they are the snap style legs. So um, they do bend at the knee, but they snap. Uh, if anyone recalls that, uh, any of the Barbie fans rec recall that. Um, so she also on her stand, it says Barbie Collectibles. And she also comes with um, a two-year warranty, which is way over-expired now, considering it's almost, what, 20 years later? Um, oh, that too. I'd like to thank YouTuber Eric Jones for filling me in. I thought that these came out in 2002, because the box says 2001, and usually it's labeled the year before type thing, but they must have just pushed them out. Um, I don't know if these ones came out once a year or if they came out all at once, but um, he told me that um, the last Princess of the Nile came out um, in December of 2001. So I don't know if uh, she came out before that one in that in, in 2001 or after in early 2002. I'm not really sure. Again, not a Barbie consentor. Con uh, with, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, I'm not a Barbie know-it-all. I don't know much about Barbie. I um, haven't really collected them as uh, uh, until now. I mean, uh, I don't know why. Look how gorgeous she is, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, this is all um, we have for you guys today. Um, if you like this video, uh, go ahead. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Uh, we have more uh, retro videos coming uh, towards you uh, uh, they're probably going to be more Barbie ones. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.